I don't have like <laughs> like my, I, didn't, I, I thought my thoughts were like concise. Yeah. I've been really scared the past few days. I can't think clearly, bro. I'm not thinking brain fog. I'm not. Yeah, I got the brain fog. Gotcha. Welcome to Dope to Been Dying, yes. guys. The Sunday morning smoke show. I'm your host, Dylan Negri. Um, but the soundboard is not plugged in because uh, they broke the aux cord apparently. But that's not gonna stop me. Be, um, that's I, crazy. I'm your host, Dylan J Negri, and um, I'm gonna say it right now. Y'all gonna have to carry this episode. I feel like shit. Oh, so it's like every episode. <laughs> this guy. I don't feel good, bro. I've Hold been. Up. You're I, holding up though. I got I got blackout drunk at the Phillies game, probably the first or second blackout of my life, and went to the clinic in the Phillies game. I mi- I arena? bought tickets in the arena. I bought tickets. I didn't, didn't see even know there was one, one second. By the way, I do now. There is <laughs> first or second blackout ever. I, I always brown now. I never black out. But this is like the first time out. I ever was like a movie. I closed Can my you eyes. What brown out is? So I found this out recently. Blacking out is when you just like wake Full up and you're black. like, bro, I don't even know what happened yesterday, mm-hmm. right? Like, I don't even know how I made it home. Browning out is you going in and out of consciousness. Now I argue browning out is more dangerous. Browning because... out is just being drunk in my experience. Yeah. No, but this is what I'm saying. You could be browning out and you have no idea. What if what if your blacked out is death? How do you know? I, you know. We... I'll just tell you right now. I'd have probably get got raped less if I'd just been browned out all the time. You know, it's like it's not a safer position. Mm. And no, no, browning you know, out. Blacking is... out, your hippocampus is detached. Yeah, no, I mean, listen, I was to what the point that? where hippocampus, that would be a hip, I believe. I think it has it in the name, DC. You're Sorry. so wrong. <laughs> she pointed no, right no, no, at no, 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 no. I want you, I want I you to sit in that. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, bro. No, 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 no. It's not about feeling like shit. It's just yeah, about not know, not having information. <laughs> nah, no, you know and then going and then pointing it to his friend and go, "You're such a dummy. It's a hip, dude. You know, you know, you know, know what, what it is, is Kevin? in the name, dog. You know what it is, Kevin. You know what it is, what is it, bro. I'm simply just better than y'all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> oh. D- <laughs> oh, good, good separate. Facts. I like to separate. I, I did separate it. Mm-hmm. You I have like to. So I, I, you have to do that with dick. some drops. I'm not gonna get into it. Like, let me go around the table because I don't want to talk this entire time. That's our other co-host, Kevin Sanchez. Oh, sorry, Kevin. Sorry, 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 sorry. Come on, give him the, give him the prop. <laughs> I did the wrong one on purpose. Is that bad, Bunny? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. I'm not hip, but I called it. See, I got it. I got my finger on the that's bad Bunny. That's pulse of bunnies. Gen Z boner. I'm um, in here. I'm tough. Gen Z. I'm not. I'm just saying, like, Y'all it's always funny when I say, sure. like, hip shit. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I'm like, this is why Gen, Gen Z, Z wants to smash, because they think I'm younger Hannah's than Gen A, bro. Like, she's OG. Yeah, <laughs> when they were putting the scarlet letter on people, that's when I came out. <laughs> I barely escaped Salem, dude, and I ended up hiding in the cornfields of Indiana Yo, to tell- pop up 100 years later. Is that where your accent Hannah from? has a crazy yeah, story. But, Survived Salem, survived the Titanic. Uh, wow. You were in that blimp that fucking was on fire. I've had a bit of Hinderman. By the yeah. way, by the way, the Hinderman burn, Hinderburg. 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 No, Hinderburg. It's, it's Hinderburg. Hinderburg. It's Hinderman. It's Hinderman. No, it's definitely it's Hinderburg. Hinderburg. What do you do? No, bro, it's Hinderburg, you're, bro. You're, I'm sick. What excuses you have? No, I, I don't know. Dominican. Uh, oh. Does danger just follow you or, or like? Wait, or let's what? go around the table. The person you hear over there. <laughs> that's D, that's our other co-host, DC Williams. Hi, DC. What's up, guys? Nice to meet you. I appreciate it. <laughs> And um, amazing, and uh, I guess to get to our uh, guest, uh, the girl has been making her rounds all over the Gas Digital Network this week. Um, so remind me how you say your last name, Hannah. Rush Line. I'm not going to try that. that it's fine. Rush it looks line? like, The, the yeah. Jew in me doesn't want to say it. No, yeah, yeah you don't want to say it. It's German. That, so oh, it, it is. It is German. I'm mixed. I smell gas in that yeah. line. I'm mixed, yeah. I can yeah. tell. Yeah, okay. yeah half German. You're mixed half with Japanese. what? You're half German, half Asian. Japanese? Okay. Oh, so you're cool. Filipino. Which one? Your mom was the Filipino, right? Yeah. Your dad was a- Small town Indiana white boy. German heritage. Let's go. Yeah. So that's why I got this like trailer so what, moon what, existence. What day did your dad buy your mom? <laughs> <laughs> I wish it had been so Hannah, simple. Yeah. Hannah, your mom got yeah. shipped in a box. You know that, right? Jesus Christ. You're saying she was a mail order bride? Is that what you're saying? Her mom was? I mean, my mom was a bride of Christ. Oh. That's how they met in okay. a Bible college in San Diego. Swear to God, when mom and dad got together, mom was a virgin when she married my father. Wow. And then gave birth to Squirt Curry. So, you know, 
Is that what the I Lord think? works in miraculous ways, folks. <laughs> What's uh, Kurt Curry's so many inside jokes? I don't know. <laughs> accent is throwing me off like crazy. I'm from Cornfields, though. Indiana, so it's like it is jarring. You know, I look like an Oriental sex doll, and I sound like a MAGA. <laughs> also, why did bit, yesterday? Yeah. What show were you on? Uh, okay. When I saw you Wednesday yesterday. You were wearing like a Sailor Moon outfit. Oh, well, And then we, we get grandma. Ding. What the fuck is this? Oh, I was on Bye Guys. Yeah, yeah. why Why do you show up for Bye Guys? What, yo, she pun? came in yesterday with oh, a Sailor that's... Moon. Like, can you pull up Sailor Moon? It's always yeah, funny when Moon. guys reveal their very specific fetishes <laughs> by telling <laughs> you, like, it's not like a I skirt? didn't try yeah, to dog. This is me looking hot. Yo, Usually on stage, you I look, look like Dylan. <laughs> I usually look like Dylan, like a kid that's about to shoot up a school. They're like, get that Asian boy out of here. Keep eyes on the Asian boy. He's like creeping Dylan. us out. He's screaming oh about John God, Bonet. Dude. I usually look like that. <laughs> I know that all these stupid pods are on TV now, like are on, you know, stuff. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I got to try. So uh, this is like me trying today. And instead, Dylan's over here, like, instead yeah, of acknowledging my effort, he's like, it's you in know, my last name. I'm hot. a Negri. You're hot. You're going to get Negri. Like, not as hot as you were Yesterday, <laughs> well, shout out to shout out to Dylan for bringing out bringing back white power, dog. Like, <laughs> no, no, reverse that, <laughs> reverse, reverse. Yo, shout out to him. You don't get that often, right? Like, so how many dudes with hair like that, glasses on in the middle of a pod, will tell I you, yo, it. dress better? <laughs> <laughs> in a big that's Donald's so hoodie. Weird, dog. Like, yo, yeah, son, I miss that shit, man. Let's Donald's bring that hoodie. back, dog. <laughs> Hannah, no, it's not. Hannah. It's not gone Wait. anywhere. If you read my DMs, you'd realize Your how misogyny's alive and well. I mean. Uh, wait, my, wait, I don't want to talk about her anything. DMs alone with just me are wild. Because I, 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 I think I saw a clip. <laughs> my DMs with comics would get what us comic? all just, in a lot. Just me and Hannah's yeah, DMs. I, I, Hannah I'm just pictures. kidding. I'm like, I don't Hannah. be fucking with comics. I yeah, get I those wanna, alerts. I don't want to really. I don't want to reveal That's your age. That's my real job. And you shouldn't. And you I don't want to reveal your age in case all of our, any of our listeners are half mass right now. I'm still trying to get them to that full mass. We'll, I don't wanna... we'll reveal it at the end. <laughs> That'll be the grand reveal. All, of, uh, all of you boners right now that are swirling, just try to figure bro, it 31. out. Thirty-one. Try to figure bro, it out. That's gonna be my guess. I'm gonna hold that down. Reggie Miller, I'm into it. You guess seriously, because you're making it such a big deal. No, there it ain't no big deal. No, All right, I'm going to say what but, I thought. I yeah. thought 28 to 31. I love that. Right? But now, because can I give what I now, now with like, information? Like, with uh, context clues? I, it is not, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. No, there's no Kevin, You better be not be disrespectful. Bro? 38 and, to 40. You're an asshole. Okay, bro. fine. Because of the Dylan, way you just when you said first that, met me, until you knew how old I was, in whatever way, billion. how old did you think I was, though, for real? 99. I know from our real messages Mostly like we're talking about words. that you that's not true. How old do you th- um, did you think when, when you I first met, met you? I was like 32, 34. Like I was right going to say max. So I remember when that's I max, when yeah. I said my age to you, we were near the bar at the stand. And your eyes were just like, no. Yeah, I and was, I was like, like, no, I've been talking about it the whole time I've been here. And you're like, no. I was like, no. Hannah, I am full mass right now. You got to like, I was like, you need, you need to walk that's around with way, like, that's like a card. Yo, you, you need to walk around with like a card that lets people know. Like, you need an Like my food allergies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is my pronouns. She, her, and twat. This, <laughs> this is, is how to pronounce fans. my last name. Rush line. This is my ethnicity. Yeah, oh, this is my sexuality. By the way, can I tell you something? What? I think you should it say doesn't, less. It, it doesn't. <laughs> Yo, you gotta say less right now. You wilding right now, <laughs> nah, bro. bro. Yo. Mm-hmm. You know what? We gonna play. <laughs> we gonna play the mic. I'm gonna do what I drop, do, bro. Yo, by what the way, that? I'm dead serious. I, on my way here, I, I, you would, if someone who saw me would think I'm a crazy person. Speaking of. I've been not. I've been sick, not sleeping, but sleeping a lot, drinking Nyquil. I looked into an empty window, like, like I thought someone was looking at me, bro, and it, the, the the figure just disappeared. I saw some shit last night. I've been hearing things, bro. I'm not right. Just tingly from the acid, probably. I didn't little. do, bro. Are you smoking and trick taking Nyquil? Because that shit can make you. Uh, he had his bro, second had his blackout of his life. Yeah, that's not even. I that mean, crazy. that's where we started. The only reason I wasn't trying to shame you about no, shame blacking him. out. No, shame no, no, no. It's uh, I was only asking because like something that y'all don't know. Also, I'm a blackout queen. I <laughs> used to be. I mean, well, what I is that a, in reference to? I'm so I don't know what you guys are ever talking that's, about. That's still talk. <laughs> okay, I'm just, okay. Guys, go to her OnlyFans okay, to just, see what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've seen the blackout page before. I'm just saying. I don't no, know. I used to have a 15 year gone girl. 
like oh. career with alcohol. I've oh, been shit. sober. I haven't had a drink in four years. Yo, she went to the All Star game four years in a row for alcohol. Oh, I mean, that's me and Kobe have been in the rafters. You know? <laughs> Sorry, RIP. I miss him every day. In fact, I think it was like this is the day he died. Because I By saw. The way it is. Oh, it is. Yeah. It is. So I mean, yeah. and I, you know, the I'm day. I'm not gonna say that joke. I thought. RIP, Bean. Yeah, yeah. I mean, every day I wish it had been LeBron. Oh. <laughs> Wow. I miss him. I mean, Yo, bring him back. I, I will say, with your accent, if we we got to get a dude to start animating clips for Dope Dub, so we can just make a white dude say that <laughs> and, and, and sit for you. You can say anything crazy and then animate it like a white dude said it, and they'd be like, "Yo, who is, who this, is this guy?" guy? It's definitely it would be a hilarious because call him, like, call him, it could call like bring Rowie. following to my to my regular socials. That's like not in alignment with what I'm really about, Ever, but no one, it would be so confusing. I will they're say, like, this can't be the same. Your Instagram versus who you are on stage in real life, two different people. Yeah, but you've only seen me also on stage at like what, the 10 minute mark? I'm running a proper hour now. I recorded an album. What I'm, you know, oh, what you're, me, act, you know, what you're seeing me, me do. And <laughs> she said, "Talk nice she, to me, bro." This just did. <laughs> Can I say who producing nice. it? Who put, yeah. it up, put it up? Right? Is it B, B, BK? Is it BK? What the the album? Yeah, eight hundred pound gorilla. Eight hundred pound gorilla from Hannah Harasha. Yeah, that'll be coming out in the next couple of months. It's called Asian American Psycho. Nice. Oh, I like that. Yeah, a it's a uh, yo Hannah's raw. I'm not all uh, all a Patrick Bateman. Mm-hmm. I just uh, I grew up like I said a mixed child of the corn in eighties Indiana. People, I can't say this, but so, American you Psycho. Know, I'm a psycho. <laughs> American mm-hmm. Psycho is one of my top ten favorite movies, and you're not allowed to say that as a white kid in America. You ever seen Children of the Corn? For sure, bro. Movie she sounds horrifying. like she, ta- you know, she talks like one of them. Like yeah, she's yeah. a children. You do talk girl. like you're possessed by someone else. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, that's fucking. Yo. <laughs> to be honest, that's kind of a compliment. <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm here for okay. it. You don't know what I'm praying for. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you don't know what my vision board looks like. It can be a lot different than you fucking think. It is actually. That's why I don't let anyone come you, over. You do a vision board? For, I have to. No. How are you gonna build a loony a loony kingdom like this without a little bit of a I blueprint? Mm-hmm. I kind of get that. But like my vision board is just talking shit with my friends. Like I don't know. Like, my vision board is just like out loud. Yeah, I don't got a, an actual piece of paper with like things I cut out oh, of a really? magazine. I, I, on it. I have in the past. Baby, I'm on my day quills. I'm not thinking yeah, straight. You're seeing figures. I, I'm dead ass. I've been hearing shit, bro. Hidden been... figures. You seen that movie? I thought you. I thought you said something. I see black people. I thought you said something else, bro. Yeah. I was like, yo, what? <laughs> this is Wallace, and he's black. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. But you live by yourself, so you can't spitball with your friends, right? I have one roommate okay. in Chicago. You know That's that. where I live. Oh, I yeah, live in Chicago. Sh- you're still in the shop? Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I come in that. once a month now for one week at a time, sleep so on my buddy's it. couch it's in Bushwick, retarded. get as many spots as I can at the stand, feel Look very you, nervous because everyone is like my hero on the lineups, try not to throw up or there say anything. There are no anything. heroes in By the way, because of this process, Anti-heroes. I did not know that you didn't live here. Me and Hannah met me each other like four or five times before it like... The fifth time, I was like, oh, I know who this person is. And she introduced me to her like, again, and I was like, I finally just had the, like, yeah, we met before. And Hannah was just high as shit, hit me with the, yeah, well, I don't remember you. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I thought I you like, lived I'm in so New York. in the green room, well, too? I well, like, I mean, I'm here. So, like, nah, the, she, this, since I got passed at the stand in August, I've been coming in. <laughs> Just giving it the old college try. You know, okay. like I said, it's not glamorous. I sleep in like a tiny fetal position on my buddy's couch, you know. The old late, right now, late, I live, late college try. Right now, I live in Manhattan. <laughs> As a near, oh, I'm almost about to say my age. I won't. Go ahead. <laughs> right now, I live in Manhattan and uh, my, uh, my like, I live in a, in a it's, it's a sacrifice. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm living in the living room, right? So I could be closer to spots and stuff, right? And my girl's telling me the other day, because yo, let me let me see the place. I said, nah. <laughs> nah, you don't need to see this kind of struggle out here, dog. You don't need to see this. I'm sleeping on a beanbag, homie. That like, kind of struggle excites white women. They pay for that experience. You think so? Yeah, a little bit. Nah, not my girl. You my don't? girl prissy. Like, she like... You, you never know, see like, like white she people like take great a, she like things. money. <laughs> my girl prissy. She yeah. like don't, don't bring her over. She do, there. but she's not boring. <laughs> don't bring no, her no, over I won't. There. I won't do that. Shit. Don't do that. No, no, no. Don't do nah. that. She don't need to see that. No, nah, I don't. Need, I don't make mistakes that. like that. First of all, the area is mad That's good. nice. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 by the way, the block you live on. I got shame for the apartment. I got shame. Yes, it does. I don't. So that's nice to see it. Yeah, no, I live with shame. Keep it up. Yeah, me, Sebastian, 
We got that in common. Shame is good. Shame is good. Shame is good. Are shame you saying you live with shame or Shane? Do you live with Shane Gillis? <laughs> no, he lives no, with shame. shame. Oh. If he did live with Shane, that, that would be hilarious, dude. I don't. Wow. I, I think if I lived with Shane Gillis, I, honestly, he'd be canceled for real, for real. <laughs> I live with Shane because I would get him to do some shit. <laughs> yo, you are a wild boy. You're just yo. I never met someone who. I we were talking the other day, and I realized you said something, and I was like, "Yo, Kevin, you said the complete opposite before." And what did I say? Any, anytime you catch Kevin, I don't remember. You just catch Kevin in a lie. He'll just go, well, I'm mm-hmm. a wild boy. He's like, nah, <laughs> like that's probably wait, drinking. Hold on, hold on. Is it a lie or is it some shit? <laughs> you contradict yourself. Hold on, hold on. Contradiction and lying is two different things. <laughs> Sometimes I contradict myself because okay. that's what I got to do in the do moment. Both. That's called survival. Also, and I don't want to defend Kevin. I hate defending men in general, but I will <laughs> say this. Kevin also could just be updating his system firmware. Ooh. Kevin could just from one podcast go, oh, actually, that's, that's not true. I have seen or felt experienced xyz and now i'm proceeding in a different fashion mm-hmm. let's just different i'm not fashion. i don't think Hannah, men are you know co- I don't men aren't Hannah. capable of Hannah, that but it's don't... funny to pretend no, 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 I'm capable. <laughs> kevin's capable I raise, I raise he's, on a, he's on a capable couch just like me <laughs> just like me i'm not acting like i'm great you know I'm, hannah you I'm did bring it, you, be, you did bring up a great point in the honor of defending men when we don't want to <laughs> oh, let's no. talk about rick and morty rick and morty just a royaling creator only person that should be defending that man is a lawyer and yep, uh, but I'll bro, talk about it. <laughs> he somebody read was it you who was reading ahead, the, the transcript well, I don't to me? remember anything oh, it don't oh remember. my god he sees dead people now <laughs> in the windows of Macy's and I he just doesn't remember stuff from people six who seconds are dead ago. and will never make it in comedy you look like that Daniel little boy grew Lee, up. Bro, bro, bro. Yeah, you do look like that little boy who grew little up. Little boy grew up. Haley Who? Joel Osment grew up. That Am Sixth I? Sense kid. Bro, can I be real with you? I'm like, I can't feel my right. legs right what now. What if you've like, been seeing drugs. your own dead self? What if that's what it is? I lost my eyes for a second. Mm. What if Go you're to sleep, ho. I might, honestly, bro. What I'm if like, all your bombs are just personifying themselves and following you? You know? What are you yep. saying about Rick Buddy, and Morty? Sit up. Sit up. All right, bro. What are you saying about Rick and Morty? Because I don't know anything about this cartoon. No, bro. Justin Rowling. You don't know about the cartoon? I've it's... only seen probably two episodes of it total. Mm-hmm. I say this. What? With, and I say this with all due respect. Dude, I don't got time to be sitting around Sorry. watching cartoon animals and shit. You sound like Velma. <laughs> The new Velma. Whatever. It would have content. been a funnier show if oh. I had done it. That's 100%. Facts. That's facts. <laughs> it would make sense if I missed the one I wanted. <laughs> You're just upset because you wasted time watching that series. Bro, so you could make a little wasted... reaction video oh. <laughs> for paltry likes. Don't get mad at me because the algo's stacked against us. <laughs> Listen, man. it's it, it's a, I watched all of that 90s show to make a video. Dude, I want people to stop now. talking about the 90s show. And I'm going to be real Talking to the mic, bro. I love Jeez. the 90s show. Why? I'm that not saying it's great. all Why? a waste of time, Have you Dylan. Watched it? It's, it's all great. turning. Who's it's that a part fake of it? ass Ashton Kutcher? Bro, it's called Who's his the... son. It's his son what? in the show. Nah, you gotta watch man. the show. Yo, DC, did you watch past Red the is not episode? racist anymore? Nah, bro. He was never racist. He was always told on the line of so racist. So what's happening with Rick and Morty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys open that door, bro. As a non fan, just kind of break this down for me. So, go ahead. Go ahead. Justin Roiland. Like, Will. Justin Roiland. Yeah. Uh, Who is he? Apparently, uh, he's the creator of Rick and Morty. The guy creator does, does oh, both the voices. Co-creator, him and Dan Harmon. But he has both the voices of Rick and Morty. He's the he's always been a drunk. He's always kind of the like the funny allure. You know, you get it mm-hmm. for sure. I do. That's that's also what I was just establishing. Oh no, he was doped up, but he towed the line. Um, not he, towed the line. He apparently towed the line. You know what towed the line he means? He apparently hit his wife. D- what? Like he Dana White? That's not even the worst like, part. Okay. of his story though. And then. And then it came out. He was on Twitter uh, messaging like underage girls, being like, "Ah, you're so jailbait, Morty." Ah, you think that's so how he voice noted it? Like, by the way, can you pull up the things? Uh, <laughs> me and you can do the voices, bro. If you read the things in his voice transcript, it sounds like Rick. <laughs> I'm telling you, Justin Roland, Roiland drunk is just Rick. Like, no, no, I'm pedophile, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Morty, like, look, mo- hey, Morty, <laughs> I'm pedophile, Rick. I think I'm stuck in a ten-year-old. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's Sorry. just like Dalia when rape imitates art. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, too soon. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry, whoa. just let me He's clench my apologist. pussy together. Whoa, whoa. I'm the only one with a vag in this fight, but uh oh. Bro, bro, uh, listen, I might lose listen, six not- MAGA followers. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Listen, you're not, you're not supposed to hit women. You're not supposed to message underage girls. That's uh, exactly it. It it sucks. It, <laughs> yeah, it is one. Of, it's one of those things where you, you know two no knowns don't make a. It does. Uh, no, uh, it does make suck. A, a yes, yes. Like it's <laughs> that's not what they say. Can you punch a 16 year old girl though? What? If you're 16, 
Mm, okay. They're different things. I'm like, the, the domestic abuse is not <laughs> with the same people. By the way, ask me that again. As... No. Ask me that question again. <laughs> I, I know ask that. Me I'm again. just being stupid. Oh, can you, are you, are you, are you, are you, can you punch a 16-year-old girl? No, but you can counterpunch one. <laughs> That's called defense. <laughs> That's called idiot, defense. Bro. All right, we're digging holes for ourselves. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm on a call. What's your excuse? Um, <laughs> I can't blame Adderall. It keeps me sharp. Though. I'll be real with you. <laughs> I, somebody the other day said they snorted Adderall, and I think they that just hurts. meant to say cocaine, right? Yeah, you can't yeah. snort Adderall. Maybe. There's a comic out there who yeah, said something. Yeah, you can. Oh, you, can. you can snort anything. You can snort anything, anything. that can become yeah. something oh, that can go up into yeah. your nose. <laughs> Things that you <laughs> snorted that you shouldn't. Wait, wait, wait. Here's Only coke. DC, do you want to be Morty? And or that you, I shouldn't. It was a personal choice. Do you choice. want to be, uh, be Morty and I'll be Rick? I because I want to sleep. Do you want to be Morty and I'll be Rick? Um. Oh, oh, okay. All right. is, is, it, is, it, is it cool being this much of a jailbreak? <clears throat> Does the FBI follow you around, arresting all the men you sleep with? <laughs> what the fuck? That's what he said. Wait, that's a DM? What? Yeah. <laughs> it's not DM, great. DM, dude? Maybe the I way, will. I want to meet you in real life jailbait so I can help you not be a homo. I'm Atlanta drunk. <laughs> He's DMing oh. black girls like <laughs> I'm a little drunk. <laughs> I'm outside. Wait, what is but that where mean? Natalie? For the women in the room, by the way, shout out Natalie. What? Uh, Natalie, I need you to let me know. Yeah. Is it? Am I allowed to say this? Where's her responses? If you're gonna, if you have to. If you get to post hey bro, what other ma- people it don't say, matter. it don't matter. You should be able to this, have to post the entire Dylan, conversation. This one, this one, it don't matter. I, she's it clearly, never matters. She clearly 16 or 15 or some shit like that. Yeah. You gotta, it don't matter. Even just like, then once you yeah, turn 18. Start, Cam Horan. I mean, he can't I'm, even claim he didn't know she was yeah, underage. Yeah. Like, like at this point, He's I, claiming once he again, doesn't I'll, know. I'm saving this for the end of the episode. I'm not going to reveal my age. But I'll give you some context clues by saying this. Okay. I'm of an age, I'm old enough at least, that like my favorite reality show, I've joked about this on TV, on stage before, growing up was t- to catch a predator. Yeah. <laughs> and now that, that is. is not a reality show. No. That but is that, a reality that's show. That's how I tuned in. I was uh-huh. like, well, when I was young, when I, I was used a kid, to be that like, shit was like, I would take, I would take me notes. in, coach. I, would take I used notes. to look at Chris Hansen Put like, in, this coach. body, we could get, get these <laughs> dudes. Oh, you could be a oh, oh, by the way, uh, I, that's what I said. Um, the girl, we the girl that looks like an eight year old. Right now, I can get non binary people to even pop up with this. This is a. Have you guys seen the girl that looks frame, like she's an eight dude. year old that's just now dating a, like a 20 something year old? No. Uh, but she looks like she's eight. She's 20 something. But uh, pull her up. Have you not, You really haven't seen this girl? Is no, that the one I'm where not. This... I don't pay. I, I'm not watching shows. I can't watch stuff online. I can't know no, who's no, no. TikTok. There's a, so famous. there's a girl. So there's a girl that's like 20 something, but she's stuck in the body of an eight year old. And she just recently went viral because she posted a video being like, I'm stuck in the body of an eight-year-old. And then some dude was like, I'll date you. And everyone's now calling him a creep and a pedo when she's like of age. And This is what I said. But the internet would spin it if no one wanted her. She should become a pedophile hunter. She should be the world's best pedophile hunter. It's too late. She's too famous. Yeah, I know. And I've been talking about it on stage. I'm on a picture commercial. I can't be hiding anymore. (laughs) LOL. Three feet ten. Three feet ten, Jesus dude. Jesus Christ. Wow. Imagine she he, still wants a guy bro, six one. <laughs> that's kind of funny seeing her smoke. Oh, I, I love it. All of a sudden I was like, dude, dude I gotta meet this like bitch. I'm gonna four, get her bro. on my on no. one of my little side pods. Yes, yes, obviously. Because clearly, I mean, the thing is, like, I'm I'm one of these people, especially somebody who's, like, dabbling. I'm, I guess I'm not dabbling in sex work. I made 10 racks last year, so it's like, if that's, that's a, a boyfriend. If that's 10 a, racks last year? A, right? Yeah, last calendar year. Hey, oh, that's, a, that's a boyfriend. Yo. Look, this is what nah, I'm going to say. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you got that Nah, man. bro, chill, 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 chill. You got to burn that's that. Not her. That's not her, right? <laughs> that's not her, right? That is her. That that's is not her. her. Next to him with the paddles? Oh, he, got, yes. he got a, like, fetish thing going <laughs> nah, on for sure. Fetish? Right? Wait. Yeah. What fetish? Did, he broke what do y'all his system, yeah. dog? To do? Nah, because in Jamaica... Is she supposed to date children? In Jamaica, we call it a spinner. Someone what? you just you you sit her and she just, you just go spin her like oh, <laughs> literally you just sit. Like is you that what that means? Is that what that means on porn? No, no, no. That's not what it means. That's what it. does it mean in the porn? I, I th- think that's a gay term. I think spinner. I'm not sure. I could be I totally correct about either. that. Spinner term in porn. You know, I jerk off to porn still because I'm unenlightened. You don't and jerk but, off. Stop stealing what? my shit, dude. <laughs> you jerk off. <laughs> Let guys be guys, dude. You don't jerk off. You don't know what's down there. <laughs> yeah, dude. 
for you. I forgot being, you are Asian. Okay, yeah, that could for be being NDA. in New York, 2023, you're making a lot of assumptions. That's true. That's you're, true. Make, true. you're making That's a lot. Of, I'm not even one of the prettiest bitches or dudes. There's dudes in New York right now that would be like, I'm not. Oh yeah, bitch. sit on your hands. <laughs> well, yeah. I literally said that, and that's on the internet. That's literally. Wait, wait, wait. Can you click on that? Can you click on that quiz? And, and can we make girl. DC take it? <laughs> no, what quiz? That's gonna give us so many pop-ups, man. Like, like <laughs> that's negative. not legit. We don't need Producer that. call. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, Natalie. Can you just can you just come hold his hands, his palms, and read that them picture and let made us know? me so happy. Like daddy and daughter on the paddleboard. That was though. weird. No, that, fam. Was, that was his, that's her boyfriend. He's taking advantage I know of it her dude. Oh no, no. I just mean I like the aesthetic. It's it's Bro. funny. Really? Yo, they who, might have a. Who is she, she is supposed an adult. to date? She's an adult. So like, she what is. I'm saying is like, Why I does want. She start an OnlyFans? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if she is or isn't. Like, I just my only concern is that she feels like mm. she's like having like she's getting attention she, and getting yeah. hers. So she like, feels like a pole is going in her chest. Yeah. So probably. she's got it, I would dude. Imagine. <laughs> and guess what? I would imagine she loving it. <laughs> 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 you think he just walk around naked in the house and she just like holds his like. Shit, like ask. Tiss walking around the house. We don't know just how like, big that dude's dick is. He could way, have a tiny penis tiny, also. Yeah. It won't even matter though. It, it, I, would, I would dare her to tell that man he has a tiny penis. Baby, you have a tiny everything. That's fucked up, bro. Yo, DC is To on. give head standing Yo, up I, like I, that. I, I love insane. when you can find a story. You what? know DC's going to get like on the pedestal of that. Oh, yeah. Because I, I think it's gross he's dating her. I'm not going to lie to you. Good for yeah, her. That's really gross. Yeah, I do think it's gross. Who is she supposed to I don't know how to Nobody. Because that's great. So sometimes, See, that's sometimes so God, wrong. No, no, it's not wrong. God yeah. punished you for your no, last life, no, dog. You know, that's what happens. What? Sometimes Kevin you get punished for your last Let's life. Go. Let's right? go. You're not supposed to date people now. Something you did beforehand. <laughs> Maybe you were in the Salem trials or some shit. You get punished now, dog. You're not supposed to, you're not supposed to get dick no more. Right, 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 right. It's over for you. So you think she was meant to live a dickless life? No, or, bro. or, but Dylan said actually. Or you said you said she should she be started pedoph- OnlyFans. I said no, that. She's that's been, that was she, you. I have two things. She, she make ninety thousand dollars a, 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 a month. A month. She'll make a ninety month. grand a month. She might she already a have one. You no, y'all doesn't. might be. I'm not googling oh, that. You're not googling bitch. that. Can we skip back to the fact that you said you made ten thousand dollars on OnlyFans in a calendar year? What? <laughs> you <laughs> well, see just, her body, bro? Was that devastating? <laughs> Did that make you feel like, oh, this is I shouldn't be doing this? Maybe. No, because I wait, do comedy ten... professionally, so it was okay. just a side hustle. Okay. Wait, 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 it's wait. a way to show my butthole and pay for flights <laughs> as I'm doing the spots that y'all say... would like to be doing. That's a yeah. fact. She just shit on me, but so also, I like, hate to wait. do that. Sorry you to man and hand splain. Wait, in one calendar year, I imagine, if, dude, if I spread my butthole, son, you're making a, seven dollars. No, but I would be sad, bro. And and then if I t- and you made ten grand in DC, twelve, you it, would quit comedy. In twelve, you start rapping and showing your ass on your only fans, you fucking you hack. Oh damn, bro! I made twelve thousand dollars this month. I don't know what you're talking about, but anyways, what I'm saying is, in one calendar year, and one calendar, if I did that. I would be that would the reviews came back and I was like ten thousand dollars I was fucking going yeah but she's in. not she's not you don't even know what I'm yeah, doing you on don't know what, yeah I yeah. don't are you, you exactly cooking? I'm literally posting Natalie, can we the subscribe nudes right now hold on, hold the on. nudes can... that I send to the dudes I really uh. actually boink in real life and behind a PP view wall I can have Let's like go. a me on me video Let's go but there's never any so like all what you're saying is so false because like. For 10 racks, I literally touched myself like I would have anyway. Uh-huh. Recycled photos I had already taken and sent out mm-hmm. and just made a residual $10,000 when, mm. as a person who's managerless doing comedy professionally <laughs> and hustling, it's in, it's like... It's a game changing amount of money for something that was so easy, felt so good, and frankly is just starting to even get any attention. Kevin, I don't I, even advertise it. Can I piggyback off your question? Mm. Pink or brown nipples? What? Mine. Kind of like a tan, but more on the pink side. Okay. I'm half white. Mm. That was a, such a random question. No, Kevin, your question. She just broke down the figgity facts. Okay, while also flexing on me. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's what, that's and, what didn't make sense to me. <laughs> so I was just like, huh, that's interesting. You yeah, just recycle d- the pics. Yeah. This is why women deserve less money. 
Less? Right. <laughs> right. So every time you almost can be progressive. <laughs> I'm very progressive, by the way. I am. I am. To be honest, like, I'm half hard right now hearing you talk. <laughs> I'm just like, that's like a, a condescending compliment from a dude yeah. is like, that's the best it's going to get from a loser. Listen. Like, yeah. I already have, you know what I mean? I have no esteem for you. You can do nothing but, like, potentially rise out of flames that I'm going to put you in. So. Okay. I like that. If you yeah. st- you'll say if you start at the bottom is only up. That's why, that's when why I got, first like girl, when bro. I first did rap, Lewis was like, I was saying, I was like, oh, dumb dudes, and he was like, if you call them dumb, they're not gonna like want to be a fan. I was like, you just don't know yeah. men at all, that's do you? Yeah. I was like, most of the dudes in my DM are like, tell me how tiny my little Head mushroom dick is and we how stupid friends. I am for living at my mama's house. We and I'm like, I will. Until you looked me in my face and went, I don't remember you. Yeah, I didn't this is, mean and it I was like, like that. I gotta make this bitch remember This me, is bro. a blast to me. This is like, that's a good relationship. Honestly, bro. Let's do plugs, and I'll take a jerk-off break, and we'll come back here. The guys, this is Dumped Up and Dying, the <laughs> Sunday Morning Smoke Show. It's been a very awkward show. Hey, guys, thank you so much for watching Doped Up Podcast. If you want to go support Doped Up Podcast, go support our sponsor, Zia Farms. Zia Farms does everything for us around here, sponsors everything that we do. So, guys, go support them. That's zef-hemp.com. Go to zef-hemp.com, and go support Zia Farms, and use the code doped hyphen up that's d-o-p-e-d hyphen u-p and you'll get like i think it's like 50 or 80 percent off it's a ridiculous fucking discount so guys go support see your farms and doped up and get high with all of us Let's thank get you the show yeah Buddy, yeah it was i, I let you i told y'all y'all got it right uh, used to me I, I told y'all all right guys uh, this has been an amazing episode whether you like it or not <laughs> i'm gonna watch this one back when i'm sober Dude, yeah you're gonna be like oh i should have <laughs> <laughs> Done this guy in a third. What do you mean? I mean, I could have. I, listen, I, I could have Roey come in and fill in for me, but what fun would that be? No, she's fucking firing off. She's yeah, funny. She's good. Fun of she's fine. She's making fun of me as she should. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah you're the worst too. I, yeah, but that's that crazy. Why you, hey, bro, you I know? never met a dude who sits silent and then just I'll, be like, y'all do everything wrong. Yo, you you sat back and let the ship. Yeah, Sick, yeah, dude. yeah, it was cool. It was cool. That's yeah. doped up and dying. Go follow us at doped up comedy. Yeah. I'll I was support the Patreon. <laughs> um, uh, guys, go follow me at Dylan J Negri on all platforms. And um, I'm gonna throw it over to our guest. And Hannah, go plug anything you gotta plug. <laughs> Please support these boys and whatever they're doing. They clearly need your help. One is on fucking some sort of substitute lean and. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to be the sickest. The week. other I one really can't wasn't. bring his significant other over to his <laughs> glorified crash pad. And funny. Bucky over my shoulder here is just <laughs> explaining my own racket to me. <laughs> but uh, we're having a good time of it. If you are interested in any of my cluck, I am at Hander Pump Rules on all the socials. That's my Twitter, Instagram, and OnlyFans. DC. DC Williams Comedy on Instagram. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, I love you guys, man. Keep being here. Kevin? Wild Kevin Sanchez on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. All right. Yeah, Stoked bitch. up OnlyFans coming soon. Subscribe. That's what I mean, seriously. Uh, all right, that's it. You can cut the music. Let's get into the fucking show. Let's get into the music. <coughs> um, Natalie, go. I'm sick. Go fuck. Yeah, Nat just, just gave me a it. wicked cough in my ear. Yeah, Nat- <laughs> Natalie, Natalie, plug what you gotta plug. Go plug your Gas Now show that I'm sure. Does Dub Dope- 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 get plugged on Gas Now? Yes. Okay, then plug your show. Natalie DeChico edits on Instagram, D E C I C C O underscore edits. Go to the Gas Digital exclusive YouTube channel and watch Gas Digital now with me and Blind Mike. Yes, he sir. Is, Blind Mike's doing a great job. Every time I walk in Shout here, that, he's either staring so like at his phone or near a wall. I've never met a dude who stands so uncomfortably near walls like mm-hmm. Mike. He has no idea. He plays into the blind shit like He doesn't some understand days. personal space, but it's hilarious. He does. He plays it up. All yeah. right. <laughs> He what? can almost see good enough to drive a car. Right? I, he he says another job. Did you see he's him on a, the Wait, he's on a road? No, no he no. could oh. legally get a, a daytime license. But I'm if saying he wanted almost. To. You a guys daytime. are acting he like he could get a daytime license. A goddamn. Oh my god. Hey, that's thing. what I thought. And then I saw I watched their show and Mike was reading a lot of shit. I was like, <laughs> hey, Mike, you're doing a lot of reading and pointing, bro. But yeah. all right, so I can tell from the way Mike edits my clips, he can see. He can even see into the future, kind of. I'm like, wow, who did that? I'm about to take you away from gas with my butthole money. All right, I'm trying to steal him too. Let's get let's get into the meat of the show. Hannah. 
Hannah, we like to talk about com- comedians with their drug uh, drug experiences, drug culture, and their experiences with it. I'm Sorry, I'm a fucked weed up. Pin. <laughs> and um, so we're gonna do the first thing. I always like to start off to make it easy. Just answer quickly as they come up to you. This is the munchies moment, and uh, just like just answer how it comes to you: sour candy or chocolate? Sour. Grilled cheese or cheese quesadilla? Grilled cheese. High C fruit punch or Kool Aid? Kool Aid. Chicken sandwich or burger? Chicken sandwich. Chicken wings or chicken sandwich? Chicken wings. Best fast food restaurant? <laughs> My favorite one is Long John Silver's. <laughs> I've never yeah, heard anyone say that. So much irony in the things you say, dude. <laughs> I'm from Indiana. I don't I eat fast food anymore. I quit the show. I, not, I, don't I eat never it thought anyone. Mr. Long John Silver. I, I don't feel good about it. Yeah. I don't feel good about it. If you see me back on it, you know something's wrong. I, check in. I check have, in. I have fans. said my entire life, I would pass by Long John Silver's and be like, whoever is keeping them in business, they need to That die. and Arby's. I don't like Arby's. Arby's, that's the South, though. But yeah. I have made a joke called my pussy. It's <laughs> like, Arby's? Like hanging Arby's, okay, I said. Okay, nice. I mean, that's a... Stop, why would you say that? That's Just not like good. a roast beef sandwich, you no, know what I mean? You're not making any more only fans. No. Yo, and you know Jews love roast beef. <laughs> <laughs> you, been, you been a Cat's Deli fan? Ooh, they rave about it. No, no, I mean... Wait, what, 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 what's your... No, she's German. Her, that, 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 that pussy ain't kosher. Is it? Lahyman or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the classes or whatever. If one of you wants me to be your little juvu, oh, I'm about it. I'll just like, I'll let it be more Kabbalah than anything clip. else. But I got it. I got it. I don't want to do comedy right. anymore. One of you guys take me out of here. Best drink to pair with your weed? <laughs> Currently water. Okay. Boo. Best I don't drink alcohol anymore. Anything. Best like Arizona iced tea? I try not to have extra calories coming Ugh. in liquid form. Best Let's food from your childhood you still eat now? <laughs> long johns. Okay. Uh, Stop! <laughs> long John Stop Silver. saying long. No, wait. What's your order? Uh, what is what is Long John Silver's? <laughs> Explain to the people what Long John Silver's is. Long John Silver's is like wherever you're at. I don't care if you're in Tempe, Arizona, or Lansing, Michigan. Like, whatever you're like, <laughs> most trash. Yeah, because you named the place. Sort of. Um, yeah. You get fish? Fast f- food is, yeah. yeah. Fried fish. Yeah, it's like Sonic's low-key <laughs> or no? this one has more of a niche. <laughs> if it was two in the morning and all my food. drunk friends were like, let's go seafood. get some fried fish, I think Kevin might strangle me. Mm. Kevin, unless I do at two seafood, in the morning, let's go get some fried fish. If you offer some Long John Silver to me at two in the morning, we got to fight, dog. Yeah. Even you if you were ripped high? Even though I can't eat seafood. He doesn't anyway. eat seafood. Don't like this seafood. isn't real seafood, clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not? Yeah, we're talking about flounder no. fish. The like, picture it, on their yeah. website it's... is cheese balls. <laughs> They're oh giant fish. Not even oh. fish. That's... Long John Silver's. And I mean, the cheese balls are a new addition. When I was a kid getting these, <laughs> like we didn't even have the option of that. It was just Did a fake them? fish plank, oh, wow. some artificial scrimps. That it's, a British, scrimp. it's a giant fish stick. It's a giant fish They're really kind of like popular within people that are trash whites like myself. Uh, in, yeah, like the mid, in the Midwest. And Jamaicans. Whoa, 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 whoa. And Jamaicans. Ah, let's roll it back. And you Jamaicans. like Long John's? No. I, I know what he's going to say. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. He's going to argue. Ready, DC? One, two, two three. three. You're Are not you white. white. <laughs> yeah. I'm half white. But you, you identify as white. No, I identify as having no country. I thought you what? were going to bring up the You're fact that... You're not Jewish. Stop. Just, I'm <laughs> You're kidding. Not Jewish. Stop. <laughs> Stop coming out of Jerusalem. <laughs> Stop with the Jerusalem <laughs> shit. You identify as white, really. You, like, Free you Palestine. See in the right um, that's my Poor only Palestine. Palestine. Get out! I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. That would um, be the first time. <laughs> no, a Jew would never kick you out. <laughs> like, bring more Asian friends. Come, please. <laughs> right. Too late. What were you going to say, Natalie? Gonna I was going to say, I thought you were going to bring up that DC gets fish at, like, McDonald's. Or, I get, or chicken I'll fillet. Do that. Yeah, that's oh, so if you're eating a fillet of fish, cocksucker, don't fuck come at me for long, John. That is not. Now we're spade fish and a spade. Fish fillet is not. A nope. Fish. What's up? No. Nope. What's up, bull? You had a leg to stand on. No, now no, no, you no, lost no, 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 no. You eat a fillet of fish. The Vegas push. You eat a fillet of fish from McDonald's. Agree. <laughs> <laughs> agree. I agree. I'm not gonna. Clearly, I'm not stopping until you do. <laughs> Can you hear me now in the lobby? You eat a filet of fish from McDonald's? Nah. Yeah. You You're ever better ate, than have, that? Have you ever ate Long John Silver's? Has bro, there is from here, man. eating a filet of fish is like 
10 steps above Long John Silver's. I guarantee like, they're coming out trash. of this same yeah. cesspool tank. Yeah, fake check. You fake check. Oh, we're, uh, we're, not, we're exactly right, the same. Don't look at me like this. Don't try to be... I, don't try guys, to be, My eyes have been closed the entire guys, fucking podcast. You guys are brothers in arms. Yeah, all right? Facts. You're facts. fucking eating filet, filet from McDonald's. I might get one tonight. Really? I'm gonna get one after this podcast. It's Honestly, not gonna bro, make you feel I don't think there's fan. a Long John in New York. No, <laughs> upstate fish, probably. Maybe, by the way, maybe upstate. Fish fillets are two for seven. There is, right there now. is a Long John's in New York. Right no, there's not. Yeah, there is. Upstate, in, right? in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. You oh, can I've find been saying. I'm saying like, Bushwick. I'll find next time you come on the podcast, you have to bring Long John Silvers. Oh. <laughs> Will you try it if I do? You if you do, I'll try it. They got something called a treasure chest. What is that? And it's got like 20 pieces of fish. Hey, Nat, will you? Will I, I'll, you I'll, I'll give you a hint. Out. I'll give you a hint. It. It's not a treasure. See I'll give you a hint. The way your stomach feels after, See if not we can a treasure. Get it. I'll even reach out to the people at Long John's. They're not going to reach out. They're not going to hit me back. I don't have those kinds of numbers. By the way, numbers. what do you mean? If you de- I bet you Long John's Silver's has 7,000 followers right now. Maybe they'll donate to us a treasure chest. If, if Long John's <laughs> is still producing treasure chests, what it is is like, I think McDonald's has it it's where everything. you can get like a fat as fuck meal and it's like, 48 chicken oh, nuggets, oh la, 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 la. Okay, okay. This nigga ordered but that. But Long John's right. got the one in a, tr- it's called a treasure chest. It used to be like 20 fish planks, 20 chicken, wow. 60 pieces of random shrimp. Family breaded. meal out there. Yeah, Disgusting. like hush Disgusting. puppies or what? Uh, Long John's. Oh. Her <laughs> makes it better. Oh. Oh. Dude, oh. oh, look, sides. Kind of looks fire. Oh, yeah. I always hated those hush puppies. Fuck, it looks they good. Had kind of, I would they fuck have with that. Of, I don't know what you guys yeah, are talking about. Fuck, that looks good. Following, dude. I know. Natalie, you ever heard? The pictures aren't going to look. Is, is not, is that we're not going to feel great. This is true. I want everyone to know right now, we're not going to feel great. In fact, this no, is. No, for sure. I don't feel great now. I can tell. Yeah. That's why it's like, come on. Yeah. Might as well. Might as, you're right. Okay. I and you guys at haven't that done shit. it. So the next time, yeah, I'll bring was, it in. I'll bring it in. I'll, I'll eat that shit. I'll be the Hell first yeah. time I eat seafood. He's never ate seafood. No, no, I once. I ate what seafood. What if he's allergic? <laughs> this whole time, like, God and your intuition was keeping you from it. And a little Asian infiltrator from Indiana comes right. in. Yo, now she Asian. Yo, this is. Yo, you're going to make it in comedy so good, so fast, dude. You can, you can get three different specials. Yeah, bro. Like, you're going to do what? Like, let me do the Asian show. Then I'm going to do the brown show. Guys, I I swear show. I'm German. I can only Fuck do one Jews. at a time. I have ADD. I'm trying to concentrate. No, no, no. You got the skills to balance the shit for All real. All right. Let's get into some questions. Your drug of choice. Weed. What? What? No, no. Weed. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Weed, sativa specifically. Okay. Your devil's drug of choice. What does that mean? That's like the one that you know. You shouldn't be doing. It's, it's gonna be alcohol for you probably. But yeah, a- that would be that because I I'm four years off of alcohol, but I drank for fifteen, so like it's still in me. Was it? Yeah, what, what, how what, many you know, what, off alcohol? You said four. Oh, okay. I've been sober for a presidential term. <laughs> <laughs> was there? A, but I was drunk for a decade. What, and was a there half. like a story or an incident? You're like, all right, this is the moment. I'm. Done. Oh, many incidents. No, yeah. it was a shift. What was the drink? Bottom. Give us a story. What was the drink? That's good. For me, yeah, all of it. All of well, <laughs> no, 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 all the above. Give me two. No, no, no. Give me two. I mean give me two. that. I mean <laughs> that. I'm, I mean that. Yeah. Okay, That's for the most alcohol. part. Every few days, I'd drink like a brick of PBR, which is about a thirty, 30 pack, yeah. as you know. Damn. And then. A uh, bottle of Fernet or some other alternate liqueur. Fernet liqueur. They sell yeah. that at at sixty six Greenpoint. That's the only place I've ever. Yeah, had I started it. drinking. Bleep that out. I started drinking at fit at um when I went to IU freshman year. So you're eighteen, nineteen years old, and okay. I did not get sober until mid thirties. Mm. So I mean, and it was bad. I had ten. I had Don't ten plus drinks a day for <laughs> that long. That's why when he was saying the thing about the blackout. I was just asking because I was like, "Oh wow!" I if, never get there. I don't. I sm- I'm, I'm always been. Like First a of all, you smoker. did. It's yeah, but I it's, never it's usually... good that you're not getting there. It just but it showed me the reason I even asked was for my own perspective because like for y'all, that whole time I was drinking, I was never not blacked out. Mm. And we're not talking about like How many oh a daily brownout. Out? Yeah. We're talking I would, not this pussy shit. You were yeah, blacking the it, fuck out, and it might yeah, not yeah. be till midnight, How two a.m. You know, like very end of the day shit. But at yeah. some point, every single day, I was going to be achieving, mm-hmm. even if I could be functional through it, mm-hmm. what would be on paper mm-hmm. a blackout. Wow. And when you are actually blacked out, like this is stuff I've only learned now in sobriety as an adult, a part of your brain called your hippocampus becomes detached. You know your hip, right? right. And so, yeah, 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 yeah know, but this is, is actually up here. <laughs> and your hippocampus kind of comes 
apart for a second. And that's why alcoholics or people that are in blackouts, they speak in feedback loops mm -hmm. where you're like, you, they can only talk about stuff. And it seems like they're like, you're like, Explain oh, you're just over and over the same shit. Yeah. It's just because you're. Well, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like if you have like um, uh, dementia. Yeah, it's just like, like the way your brain is moving. Oh, yeah. So it's just eats like your brain. Who is me right yeah. now? Like you know, you... so it's like if it's constantly, it's like if a faulty wire, you know, mm. or like a shitty iPhone charger when it's starting to go bad and it's not anyone, like giving all that. Did anyone like, ever tell you like, hey? Did anyone come to you like, hey? You, whole you time. Out. Whole time. And whole time. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And not only that, I'm a, I've been a smart, perceptive person. Mm -hmm. I was just straight out out. I knew right from the beginning. <laughs> I was out. like. This is bad, but, but it's you like, liked it. Yeah, because when you're also young, like me being at college at IU, it's not like we're looking at it and I'm going, you know what? I I'm about to this. fuck my life up for 15 years. I'm just like, oh, it's part of the culture. Mm -hmm. I'm a kid. Yeah. I couldn't really like see how far it was going to get. I'm but, just trying to see how far I can go sometimes. And I was like, that's Yo, all right. I think my body, I don't want to drink anymore, bro. I'm, oh, no, I, I, I said, mean, I don't drink anymore. I guess so. Like, it's like I get it. And I, my Shit performance on everything got better. Nice. So, like, even now, I'll say this as a sober person on that side of the street. Like I said, holding a weed pin. So don't look to me to be some sort of Jesus Christ. But I'll just tell you, mm -hmm. you know, one is way better than the other. Drinking in general is something everyone needs to just, like, be moderate about because it's just, like, if you're really trying to get after it on anything, Yo, so alcohol fucks it up. I dude. dropped a gem the other day. Ready? I was texting um, I was texting so my friend funny. I was texting my friend Charlie, uh, Wyatt from Ozar. I text famous people. Why? Oh, um, hell yeah. I saw him at why? the stand, and I thought, I thought, oh, my God, the hillbilly in me was like, oh. <laughs> I wanted to I be love, like, why? Get over here. Why? I, love, I love Charlie. No, I saw him, and I said, why? He turned around like, you should have seen that. See, don't look at me like I'm the wild one. I'm all the oh time being like, I was texting, I was so, shit in your I'm, pocket, Hannah. I, shut the fuck up. I was texting Charlie, and uh, we were talking about, he hit me up, because he was like, y'all heard about Philly, you right? And I was like, yeah, bro, I'll go. I went crazy. I was, it was crazy. And I go, bro, I'm done. I'm sticking to weed. And he goes, me too, join the club. I go, having anxiety is way better than being blacked out. I'd rather hate myself for fake reasons than have to forgive myself for real ones. Wow. Mm. I thought he was going to say having anxiety is better than being black or something. I thought he was going to say some shit. I was like, what? Black, I got you. No, that's a gem, though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My brain here is like that, too. Wherever it wants to stop, yeah, it, it's just like, it just stops. Even though people yeah. are not done, right. and then I have to I'll, go, whoa, I thought it was that. And your brain, <laughs> my brain's like, no, you just stopped there. Yeah. That's where your brain said, oh, clip. Yeah. <laughs> just... my, my girlfriend's gotten good enough at that with me where she'll see the glazed eyes happen, and she'll go, you didn't hear what I finished with. I go, nope. And she'll go, okay. And she'll just keep repeating it. She's a fucking blessing, bro. I'll just, I, she'll just see my eyes go like ADHD. I'll be listening, and I'm, all of a sudden my eyes just start going, <laughs> just away, bro. I used to get into arguments about that. You can't, but yeah, Yo, you can, bro. <laughs> all right. Let's get some more questions. Yes, yeah, sir. Right. What uh, you ever do? Uh, you ever get drunk at work? <laughs> Come yeah. on. Come uh, on, yeah. There wasn't a shift I wasn't <laughs> yeah. I, well, what, what, what was the job? Work. So, okay, pre-com And here's the timeline 15 years drinking I think pre-com And I was like you No know, I do uh, I can't uh, hear uh, shit right What is happening? I, Everybody yeah. hears Sorry. what they want to hear yeah. Dylan sees ghosts Where he wants to see yeah. ghosts I see Everything him on the front of lawns Of my black yeah. friends <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> oh, but the whole time, one thing that kind of even, I won't blame my alcoholism on this particular job, but it definitely fed the stream. I was just working in basically upscale dining. So Same. restaurants, you know, so like I was the always been in steakhouses. So when you asked me where you're like, what was your alcohol of choice? The reason I hesitated was because truly by the nature <laughs> no of my thing. job, we had whiskey. to have everything from like wine tastings mm -hmm. to know oh like all the different types uh. of gins. Like so, it's a big. So what, everyone's spitting out the wine. You're just swallowing it. I always was. I never I mean, spat that shit out. But either. the crazy thing Pause. is, Dylan. This I don't feel good about saying this, but like especially being in you know Indiana, I was in you know that's where I was until like basically two years ago when I moved to Chicago. Let me ask you a question. If you when you went to when you got to Chicago, were you sober already? Already. So you think if you would have went to a major city, it would have been over for you? I couldn't have gone. That's why I didn't. Mm. Oh, you know, okay. it's like people now they're meeting me, and I'm not going to reveal my age, but they meet me, and they're like, "How are you, like this person, and just getting out of there?" You know how I found out about. But it's because I was drinking so much, where it was just like moves weren't even something I would try to facilitate mm. because I never had the money. 
Because any extra money I had, and I was making loot, dude. I'm like, I'm a good server. You're working at a steakhouse. I've always (laughs) been funny. You know what I mean? I've always been (laughs) personable. I have an Asian case. People are hard, dude. They've been hard. They're (laughs) fine. I was making loot. Loot. I I was making loot. But I had nothing to show for it. I'd have to pay like 10 racks on on a lawyer fee because of a DUI. Uh, I did four days in jail. How many Deweys? Me, I should have had two, but one of my early ones when I was 21. So it's like, yeah, we, we couldn't know right away that I had a huge drinking problem. Yeah, because you're but, in the midst of everyone knew, having a drinking problem. But I problem. knew right away that I was getting in trouble. Okay. I mean, if, if a year into starting, I already have what could have been a DUI, and they reduced it down to a reckless so driving. So you started drinking uh, as you, 19. You 19, so later than most people, I think. Well, mom, you had a longer career of drinking the 98% of NBA players have had games in the NBA. I mean, Dylan, just even comedically, 15 years of drinking, I've been doing stand-up for six. So it's like, there's just... My mannerisms, like even when I'm on stage, I think people are like, that bitch is drunk. Yeah. And it like surprises them later to hear that I'm not. But it's, I mean, liter- legitimately, if I was in a car, no, no, wreck, no, it's my DNA. car wreck right now as a sober person, I gotta see you I'd on stage. still probably <laughs> take on a drunk stance because my mm-hmm. body has, for 15 years, that's longer than anything yeah. I've done. Yeah, I was gonna say and that. this is every night you blacking out? Every night I was blacking out. So not only the brownout, this is a step beyond. This was the kind of stuff where I'm like. I think everyone's body's different. I think. What? Blacking out for me is like, you, know? like, yeah, you know, my girlfriend alcoholism versus just getting. And fucked. we're yeah, talking about, yeah, yeah. you know, 100%. I'm working in restaurants yeah. in Indy. My all my homies are in restaurants, you know. So and like my even my exes, no, I date just... bartenders. So it's we... like all day long alcohol. Well, you know, we used to work together. Wait, I used to drink at work. I, I woke up from my I woke up from my brownout, blackout, whatever you want to call it. And I felt like such shit. I had to eat like Wendy's at five in the morning. That was cold. Um, uh, Gatorades, dr- chugging water. How are you blacking out every day, every night, waking up like, yeah, I, I can do it again tonight. Your body's not like, you know, are you waking up in the morning like you want to kill an God? The bo- I mean, yeah, I never felt good. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's like so shitty to say out loud. It makes me kind of like, it sounds sad, but it's like, but it's, it's true. true. It's really yeah. Because what you're talking about, if you think about what you just said and how otherworldly and outside of your body that feels where you can't even like stomach food mm-hmm. every day. That like growing like a stock with just like compounded interest. Yeah. It's not like this thing starts just so nutty. Like we said, I went to IU. It's like little five. That's a part of that culture. What's IU? Sorry. Indiana University oh, at okay. Bloomington, but it's like a major party school. You know, so I was like, they that's a fo- where they have a football team? Yeah, all that stuff. Big okay. Ten. You know what I mean? Oh. It's just like and it's in Indiana. So Indiana's like a boring state anywhere, and that's where I'd also been. So there was like nothing else to do. So when you're blacking out like that too. One thing, like, the only cure, technically, is to keep drinking, right? Because it's like, I'm already feeling like shit. The only way I'm not going to feel like shit is if I keep drinking, right? Same sorry, I'm, I'm so fucked up. I'm so good. Yeah, it's just like a continuation. Yeah. 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 Well, that's why the hair of the dog is a, is, a real, is a real thing. For sure, but it's nonetheless still an insane amount Did of, like, a part- poison to pour into yeah, a little is. tiny body. You survived it. No fucking Asian flush for you. But I, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, um, do you feel? Was it just being in the environment of like waiting tables? Because I know, like, I've worked at a bar and That's shit. Saying, it, no, I know. I'm asking a quote. Was it the environment? Was it stress, PTSD, all just, things, all things? You just, I think, you know, it's all of it. And yeah. I think, you know, I'll even say that to anyone that's struggling with any kind of like bullshit addiction. Mm-hmm. It's this. It's the most unreasonable shit in the world. Mm-hmm. So don't try to like make sense of it. Did you just do the things that you know what I mean yeah. and work and know that like I don't know. I'm not telling you how to do anything, but like if you can just like look at me and know that like four years ago mm-hmm. I was a shell of a human being, mm-hmm. not doing anything like this at all. You know, and in that amount of time, like obviously it's not like everything got better, but it's mm-hmm. a completely different landscape you know and know that it's gonna like don't look at your sobriety or whatever you're feeling or doing and think it needs to look like anybody else's because you won't find a you won't find an adequate substitute and Mm -hmm. it needs to be your own build-a-bear anyway so it's like people don't like sometimes that i smoke weed and they're like well if you're gonna be sober like bobby kelly's like my comedy dad but him and like voss and them are always like you know, smoking weed, you know, you shouldn't be doing that either. And I'm like, dudes, I used to, like, do all the stuff we're talking about. I was yeah. like, I'll jump in front of a fucking train if I don't have something. Yeah. So it's like, maybe I won't You need do- your vice. 
I need something. something. Yeah, you need yeah. your vice. For sure. You need and, and I think, you know, I think also with people that have addiction, a step down process is the best thing anyway. Yeah. So That's why like, he was saying that pet of that chick. You know, so like for, even for okay. you, like looking at you, I'm like, even if I don't think you have a drinking problem, if you're already getting to the place where you're like, man, that's kind of trash. Leave it as trash. Like, don't try to make it, yeah. you know, as something that it's not. Because overall, it is. It's do a you, bullshit thing. Do yeah. you uh, do you ever drink with your parents? Never. Never. So, Dad's still the pastor of a church. Mm. My mom is still Asian, and you know, so like, <laughs> the answer is no. Uh, have I been very drunk around them? Like coming home, you know what I mean? I almost went plate face down in a plate of fucking. Lo mein and mashed potatoes at a family Thanksgiving off a coke bender one year. That is the funniest wow. thing is having schnitzel and lo mein at your Thanksgiving. You're like, yo, this family's so weird, bro. Yeah, no, was, it was popping. That's awesome as fuck. In our so tiny town, fire. the only Asian restaurant was my mom's cooking. <laughs> so my, I, like, I don't care if that town was racist or not. They were like, let's fucking crack that bitch's fortune. Like, yo, guys, I hate all see. races, but. Hannah's mom's the only one that has low main. I mean, dude, I used to bring fucking egg rolls into the fucking cornfields town, like school I would live in, and it's just like it's lit up. So Probably got put, killing if did you wait, does your restaurant. does your mom have like a hardcore hardcore accent? I mean, it's funny. It's like if you listen to Joe Coy and just like picture something similar to that. Like, you know what's crazy? I feel like if you did an Asian accent, someone might try to cancel you. How oh, people are already trying to cancel me for the things that oh, I was shit. like. People, you know, I say, I call myself, you know, being mixed from like I was saying, Tractor Town, Indiana. I call myself things like a John Deere gook. John Deere gook. <laughs> and I've had a, I've Yo. had a white woman come up to me after a show. You know, I'm it's like, I'm from woman. Indiana, so like, it just makes people uncomfortable. I remember this woman being like, she's like, um, aren't you like Filipino? And you know, she's like, doesn't isn't gook like a la la? la. And isn't I was, it funny when I white said, women do that shit? I when- said, ma'am, I was called that word yeah. by kids yeah. that look like probably your teenage son when I was a kid. Uh, so like, by the way, your teenage son second, on like, Xbox. Respectfully, <laughs> lick my clit. Like, we're going to mm-hmm. have to, you know. Isn't it cra- I, I find it real interesting when white people, like, they like to call you out for some shit like that, even though it's in, in, ingratiated in your culture, and then say the word that they think you shouldn't say. Mm-hmm. You know, they don't go, well, you called yourself the G. No, it's like they go for it too, and they say it, and it's like the only time they get to do it. I know. You know what that word means in Miami? Pussies. No. You no. know that. You know that word. I'm not gonna say it. You know the the G word means in Miami. Ooh. It means yeah. It means like loser. That's why Denzel Curry has a song named. That's a weird. I just way. used to hear gookin. <laughs> it was funny. I, I've said. I think I said this before, but there was like a, there was a football player. A story came out about him getting canceled for saying the word. Yeah, and but I was like, is also what they used to call yeah, but, the Japanese. For yeah. sure, but then I remember the story came out, and, and they like, were like, our yeah, that's grandparents racist. age. I thought they called them, like, yeah, but uh, Japs. S- s- out in the slums of Miami, that's just what the I hear you, but I mean, say. on the playground, I got in the 80s, 90s, Cornfields, Indiana, I got called things like Spick, mm-hmm. Chink. I thought you were Latina when, you, when I walked chink. in here. You know, because They're the thing is, I'm kind too. of a, as, as we've been laughing this whole time, I got a lot of question mark. Like, if yeah, I go up on stage, depending on what I unpack, mm-hmm. people can spend the whole time being Asking like, what is this? What's yeah, this bitch yeah. is? Yeah. Pronouns, mm-hmm, yeah. sexuality, yeah. ethnicity, age, you know. And if you close where... your eyes, you're like, that's Theo Vaughn talking. 100. I love that. <laughs> that's, that's actually, he's one of my favorite comics of all time. When people would, I when I was first starting and people would make that comparison, they, something, said that before? something in my little <laughs> fucking stomach would always be like, yeah. we're making it. <laughs> that's exactly who I want. Uh, that's who exactly who I want you to say. Do you do mushrooms? I'm just starting to do it. All like I never did anything but drink when I was drinking. I'm telling you, mushrooms Aside will decrease your anxiety. A little bit of microdosing. I'm telling you, well, it'll, no, it'll mush- feel like mushrooms will like if you do a lot of mushrooms, it will it will increase your anxiety and then help no, you get microdose. through it. Yeah, yeah. But if you microdose, you, you'll feel pretty good every day. Well, I can you start. Can... You know, I've been you also I've met some it. people here since I've been in New York that have been offering me everything from I've asked my pocket right now. to ketamine therapy. <laughs> three so ketamine. What's a threesome like, therapy? <laughs> yo, who had to? Yo, so people be brave out here. Bro. Yo, it's wild. My fans are brave. You guys are the most yeah. brave little toaster, <laughs> retarded. Hey, hey, I think. I think <laughs> if someone. I think if ding. someone's offering a threesome, that sounds like fun. 
Yo, why do people act like threesomes isn't mad work? Like you, I know. You I don't. See, I'm lazy. My the, main character energy. Like, fuck, unless that butch is I just like going down on me, and I just get to you know whatever else. Yeah. Like I don't even want to give a blowjob. I'm not at that place in my life. Like I've earned these, this ability to lay down in missionary and like have with the way that with the way the Hannah that. drinks, she couldn't keep down any job, blowjob, a real job. Oh, I could keep a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to do comedy, Dylan. Let's get would clear. You, would, I do it because I love it. Would it's you a wake? Passion would project. you ever like? Uh, would you ever wake up next to someone random? Bubby. I mean, sometimes. It <laughs> yeah, that's why when you Who know when we it? do these things and there's like I have never me too allegations were popping up. I thought, oh man, here here it goes. I you just, never woke up. I'm always like, hold on, hold on. You can't talk I'm just like sitting here all the time, like with bated breath, just like, well, you think someone's gonna me too? You? As in, like, they're going to say something. That I did something in that, like, I was very, I mean, I was blacked out. And I'm aggressive. Like, I'm out, like I'm mo moving around like what uh. Andrew Tate would want to be. <laughs> if, no. if he wasn't a beta cuck, I'm what, like, he actually. Whoa, whoa, don't talk about Top G like that. <laughs> <laughs> he just hey. got cucked out it, by a climate change girl in a pizza yeah, he box. Did, he can yo. grow up. That's pretty funny. Damn. Lick my clit also, What's, Andrew um, Tate. Right now, when you, uh, you smoke, I'm assuming you smoke weed at home by yourself. What's one of uh, your favorite TV shows to watch when you're high? Always Sunny or something like that. Even awesome. in Practical Jokers. Awesome. I, love, uh, good I, have, good I have a lot of ADD and I really have a hard time even with like quality television. Mm -hmm. Plugging into it and staying tuned into it. Like by the time I have like watch TV sometimes or I have that ability, I am very tired, often high. So mm -hmm. it's like I got to watch things that are just like at any given moment. And I can be in and out of and right. just like going to yeah. have a laugh. And so those are sometimes those shows. The thing with that attention now, can you span queue up shit, a, It's say, Time by Big Bear? It's yeah. like nothing is more like doper than what's going on in your head. Like at all, no matter what you watch. I don't know. That's For what I sure. find with ADD. It's just like what's so, going on in my head is way better. Yeah. And it's like when I, as a creative, when you try to just kind of like control how someone else's creations are making you yeah, feel yeah. or whatever, I'm like, I'm just not into I'm just not there right now. I get that. Like, I watch Rick and Morty a lot at his house, which is cool, because I, I realize if I watch something with someone else, I'll tune into it. But if I try to watch it by myself, I just can't keep myself Me and Dylan it. try to watch that 90s show together. We couldn't do it. Y'all couldn't do it? I, just I, talking I, mad shit I can only time. watch. <laughs> I can only watch that 90s show. See, that's another thing, too, where it's like certain people with me, I might not even... They could get me... I wouldn't even pay attention, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I have no... I can never watch shit with Kevin, because we'll just talk. We were, I'll show him something like a really dramatic piece, and he liked it. But I looked at him, and I go, "Bro, no jokes. Let's just watch this. No jokes, no comments. Let's just enjoy this." And at at one point, he looked at me, and it looked like a kid like not holding in like a curse word. He's like, <sighs> well, I was like, "You got some shit to say." He's like, "Oh, bro, I'm waiting for it to end. I have like a laundry list of thoughts <laughs> to say to you." Yeah, do you have, but, that, do you have but, that song? I don't. It's no? that's the name of it's who that. it is. That's okay, I'll find it. But when I. When I, I saw that 90 show by myself, I was like, you yeah. know, I, liked it. I don't like hating on, I hate that when I hate on a show. I'm I not know even how on it. hard that it is to fucking do. I but know, they didn't have to do I've that. And I've also been working on my ego where it's like when I see something pop up and I'm like, something isn't my speed about it. As a creator myself and getting really upset when people throw that kind of shit towards me or mm -hmm. feel like they could make an edit that's better than what I just did. Mm -hmm. I just know how much I cringe with that. So I'm like, I'm trying to have that same grace towards others. Mm -hmm. to but it's that. also one of those moments too where I'm like, dude. Or you just got off stage, a comment walks up to you, hey, you should say this with that. And also as a person who's <laughs> that still shit is annoying, kind bro. of like, just like living paycheck to paycheck, you know, and just like my dreams, but still kind of broke about it. It's like when I, I see you. shows also, even if they're fucking stupid, I'm like, those people on that show paid. got paid. And I would also be on this weird little high cooking show that you have saying your PG-13 jokes for whatever jack-off network. You know, it's like, <laughs> I can clean it up. Yeah. I told you who my parents are. I'm going to give my heart to Jesus Christ. Now, do you have a song? Age 60. All right, play. Age 60. I'm not making it that long. <laughs> All right. Fire. They say live fast, die young, I'll leave be a beautiful up course. And dying, dude. Hey, I'll be go. doped up and Dylan. I'll be out of here. I'll doped be up and done is... That's what I thought the flag said. <laughs> Dylan like... doesn't even want to die. That's the crazy part. Do you hear it? <laughs> it, does. Right, here it, is. it does. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Is it the goodbye song? 
Goodbye, goodbye. This is Dan goodbye, Soder singing the, the goodbye song. There's no way that's Dan Soder. Nah, he, he does a really good Big Bear voice. But guys, this is uh, the end of the episode. We're going to go watch Always Sunny for the bonus episode on Patreon with Hannah. Um, I put this on because I, I don't think you understand. My I've been going in and out of consciousness for the last 30 minutes. Dude. Always Sunny or Impractical Jokers? Uh, pick one. Flip a coin. Uh, always Sunny. Always, she said Always Sunny first. Okay. Thanks, man. Um, so guys, this is doped up and dying. Uh, we'll see. We'll see you next week. Peace. Bye.